When I received my review code for Borderlands, the pre-sequel, I was pretty excited. I'm a big fan of the series, and that's mainly down to the wacky writing and the mental missions. Now, to help us games journos write our reviews or create our videos, 2K kindly included this list of all the nooks and crannies of Pandora's Moon which they think are worth visiting. It's basically just a list of the developer's favourite side missions, and look, you can see here, Torgo Torgo is a favourite of James Lopez, a producer at Gearbox. This one here, Land Among the Stars, is a favourite of Anthony Birch, the writer of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. You can see in this gameplay here, it includes butt slamming and cat posters, which is awesome, of course. One of the biggest surprises for me, though, was not seeing Randy Pitchford's name on this list. Surely Gearbox's resident president would have had a favourite level, but for some reason it's not on the sheet. Well, fear not Randy fans, because I'm pretty sure I've managed to stumble upon what I believe to be his favourite level in the game. And this is how you access it. Now, the mission you are looking for is located in Concordia, on this bounty board. Before this point, the bounty board missions are all locked, and Randy's level is the first one that becomes available. Here's the mission, it's called The Cashening, and you have to help Andy Pitchfork finance his next game. Sounds like it could be a great laugh. Once you've accepted the mission, follow the marker on your waypoint, go through Moxie's bar, head into the secret back room, and down these stairs you'll find the exit to Triton Flats. Click here and Randy's favourite mission should start. Yep, here it is. So, uh, it looks like we're on a spaceship. And what I immediately like about this is the way that, with this level, they've changed up all the graphics and they've made them look really, really bad. That's just a great example of classic Gearbox humour. They've tried to create the illusion that they've cut loads of corners in the production of this level and it just works really well. Sulaco Axel and Twitter, we're on the service rail and route to the bridge. What's your situation in Cargo 1? It's also nice to see that they've stuck with the comically bad voiceovers as well. It must be so much fun recording the voiceovers for Borderlands games. The actors can just go as stupid as they like and no one will mind. It just fits in with the game so well. Huh? I must be dreaming. Kick ass. Oh, that was an unexpected turn of events. Where are we? How about we play a game? I'll be the boss and you can take orders. <laughs> what do you say? There'll be a lap dance and cake. This is odd. Okay, baby. I can dig that role play shit. You tell me what to do. What is this? I think Claptrap's voice is broken. I'm hungry, so I need something to nibble on. And then, I need something naughty to play with. And then, well, a girl has to play it safe, even with you, Duke. <laughs> I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Not sure I like it. Wow, now, I thought Borderlands Mission's objectives were always a bit risque, but they've really pushed the boundaries this time. Okay, let's have a look around. Anything worth looting here? No. Nope. Okay, I guess I'll just head through here. Oh, wait. Now what? It's a big pile of money. This is really odd. And oh, what's what's happening now? Something's moving, and and there's music, and oh, it's it's Randy Pitchford himself dancing upon a pile of money while holding a PS4 copy of Borderlands 3. This surely is the greatest magic trick he's ever pulled off. Bravo, Randy, and well done, Gearbox, for creating such an imaginative and hilarious side mission. This is why we love you guys. Don't ever go changing. Thanks for watching everyone, and as Randy dances us out, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more glorious gaming content. See you soon.